share this housewife story today. We're going to talk about does Kyle Richards needs to be fired? Okay, I, there, I said it. It's, it's just a question right now, but this could be the solution to a lot of problems, okay? And then we're going to talk about that LVP finally said she would return to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills under one condition, and we'll go under that condition in a minute. Now, let's start with this whole Kyle thing. <laughs> Listen. Something is wrong with Kyle Richards, okay, you guys? It's a cry for help. It's not a joke anymore. This is serious. We need to do something to save Kyle Richards because she's losing it, people. <laughs> she's losing it. Okay, so recently she gave an interview to Ann Peel of Vulture magazine. And in this piece she's talking about, <laughs> I'm not making this up. This is why I had to do a story on it. Because, huh? What? Okay, this is what she said. She said that Lisa Vanderpump was the villain of the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not making this up. This way, she said that uh, Lisa was the villain on the show, and people didn't realize it for a long time. Lisa was the villain. Have you ever heard of the campaign that went around the universe two seasons ago? Hashtag by Kyle. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the name Vile Kyle? Lisa Vanderpump is the villain of the show? It's official. Kyle Richards is back on mushrooms. You know the ones that she tried back in the 70s? <laughs> the ones that make you hallucinate? What would make her say something just, that's a bold-faced lie, first of all. But you're the villain of the show. Let's just say, let's just say, for the sake of this video, that... Okay, fine. She doesn't consider herself a villain. Uh, take your pick. Anybody but LVP. Does the name Lisa Renna ring a bell? <laughs> I mean, come on. She is the pot stirrer of the show. What about your new thieving friend, Erica uh, Girardi? The ones that like to steal from crash victims. She's not the villain of the show. Why don't you go ask the crash victims if Erica is a villain? You're going to go with Lisa Vanderpump? She's back on mushrooms. That's all I can think of. I mean, she's on, she's under the influence of something that's making her hallucinate. Now, I don't know what it is, but it's something. She is out of her mind. Then she goes on with the standard lie that she's been telling for years now. How she will repair her relationship with Lisa Vanderpump. You, what? You don't have that option. <laughs> Can somebody tell her that Lisa Vanderpump is so over you it isn't even funny? But this is what she went on. These are her exact words. She goes, so someone asked her, did she ever thinking about mending her relationship with Lisa Vanderpump? And her answer was, I think there's room to repair any friendship anytime you've cared about someone cared. Okay. I'm not going to go into it. You've seen plenty of my videos, how I feel about that. And shared a lot with them. I think there's always room for that. But you know, it has to be a two-way street. Oh, God. I mean, I am so tired of Kyle's blatant lies. You know you will never repair your relationship with Lisa Vanderpump for a couple of reasons. Number one, you don't have that option. She never wants to see you again. And number two, you don't have the guts to stand up in front of her and say what you did. I was a shitty friend that threw you under a bus for some has-been that goes by the nickname Lisa Renna. I mean, it just is what it is. But she wants to act like, oh, one day we'll be friends again. If two, we could only try and we both were. Shut up. Shut up. You guys are never going to be friends again. And I thought for the longest time, Lisa Vanderpump will never return to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But she gave an interview the other day in which she said she would return. And the condition that she would turn is if Kathy Hilton was a cast member well, we can make that happen. And if some of the, uh, and some other casting changes, well, we can make that happen too. Think about it, guys. If Bravo just got rid of Kyle, now I'm not coming from anyone's jobs. This is just a suggestion. Okay. If Bravo got rid of Kyle, they would continue, continue their pattern of getting rid of the highest paid on the show. Bye-bye, Kyle. You know, you've been there a long time now. Uh, they got rid of NeNe. Isn't it about time to get rid of Kyle? They would uh, solve their money issues that they're allegedly having, these outrageous salaries that they're paying. So that would be good if you got rid of her. Also, Lisa Vanderpump would come back. <laughs> 
why it is what it is. Listen, they're going to have to get rid of Kyle eventually anyway. What these rumors are going around about how great Bravo loves Kathy Hilton, how they want her to be a full-time housewife even before the season even airs. And now you have Vanderpump saying, yeah, I'll come back if Kathy's on the show. They need to get rid of Kyle. First, Teddy, thank you, Bravo, for taking at least a half a step in getting rid of Teddy. Well, go ahead and get rid of her other boring buddy, which would be Kyle. Then we could have a real show again. I just feel that it's time for Kyle to go. And I'm wondering why, how come no one's questioning Kyle being on the show that damn long? I mean, people were complaining. Nene has to go. Nene has to go. Oh, we're tired of Vicky. We're tired of Vicky. These OGs, we need to spruce it up. What about Kyle? Kyle needs to go. And if you're not going to fire her, Bravo, how about a demotion? I mean, really, if you could get Kathy Hilton to come on full time, then you guys need to swap Kyle back down to part time. She really needs to be a friend to the show. I mean, I just don't see what her value is to that show anymore. But anyway, in that same interview, which Lisa Vanderpump said she would come back if Kathy Hilton is a cast member, she would go on to say that she likes Kathy. She said, Kathy won't take anyone's nonsense. I like it when anybody changes the dynamic in the group. You and everyone else, we need a change in the group. And the change needs to be Kyle Richards getting that diamond out of her hand and coming on every so often, almost like a Camille type thing. That would really spruce up the show and break up the dynamic in that group of that group that Lisa Vanderpump is talking about. That mean girls club. That's what I call them. A group of mean, mean girls. And I'm not talking about Sutton and I'm not talking about Garcelle. I'm talking about the other hags. I mean, really, firing Kyle Richards would seem like the logical thing to do. She doesn't bring much to the table. But at the end of the day, this is Andy Cohen's decision. And he does what he wants to do without any rhyme or reason. He goes around saying that he can't keep any of the OGs because they cost him too much money. But he keeps Teresa Judice. And not only does he keep Teresa, he came out recently, and I believe it was yesterday, and said that the reason he didn't let her go when she went back to prison a couple years ago, I believe it was in 2014 she went to prison, is because she was an investment. <laughs> what the hell was leaks? Andy Cohen does what he wants to do, and for some odd, strange, unknown reason, he wants to keep Kyle, who he thinks is valuable to the show. I don't know, maybe he thinks Hilton will get mad at him or something, but for whatever reason, she he has kept her around way too long. She's the most boring, overpaid housewife there ever is. That doesn't mean I don't like you, Kyle. I'm just bringing facts to the top of the table. You know, you are boring. Is that bad? <laughs> it is what it is. But anyway, I still think that uh, firing Kyle would be a huge help to Bravo. You guys let me know what you think about that down in the comment section. What do you guys think about uh, LVP saying that she would come back if Kathy Hilton was on was a cast member on the show and that they made a few cast changes? Do you think she would come back or is she just talking? Let me know your thoughts about everything I just talked about down in the comment section below. In the meantime, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. It does wonders for my video. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, don't forget to do that. I'll meet you guys down in the comment section, lots to talk about today. Bye for now.